Hey everyone, Technomancer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your iPhone 17 Pro, 17 Pro Max, or any of the new iPhone if you're having any issues with Wi Fi connectivity or CarPlay connectivity issues. You want to follow these steps to fix it. So, the very first thing you want to do is pull down that control menu, put your phone on airplane mode briefly, and then turn it back off. And that does a quick network refresh and go ahead and see if it's fixed now. If it's not fixed, the next thing you need to do is go into your setting. And see if you have BPN turned on. If you do, you need to go ahead and turn off the BPN here. And then after you turn off the BPN, go ahead and try again one more time. Now, let's say you turned it off, but you're still having issues. The next thing you need to do is go in your setting and then go to general this time. And then from here on, we're going to go down to BPN and device management here. And then we're going to click on BPN here. And you're going to look to see if you have any BPN profile already set. So although you're not connected, you want to go ahead and delete any of the BPN that you have. The reason why is BPN can interfere, especially the profiles, with your connectivity. So you're going to go remove that and see if that fixes it. And if it, that fixes it, uh, the other thing you also want to do is if you have a BPN app as well, you want to remove it. So you're going to long press and hold, click on remove, and then delete, and then delete. So if you have multiple BPN, I would recommend, again, deleting the profile and deleting the app as well. Now with those gone completely from your phone, go ahead and check your Wi-Fi connectivity and also your CarPlay to make sure it is working with it. And if it is, then you know you're good to go. Now you should be able to re-download and reinstall or add those profile back in to use that VPN. And the reason why it is when you upgrade to, especially on iOS 26 or a new phone, the VPN needs to be reconfigured. That's why you need to reinstall your VPN as well. Now let's say you did all that, it's still not working. The next thing you want to go ahead and do is follow this step. You're going to quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold down this side button until the screen goes completely black, the Apple logo appears. So I'll do volume up, volume down, and then I hold down this side button just like this. And you're going to keep on holding and wait until the screen goes completely black. And once you see the Apple logo, you'll let go of that side button. So there you go, let go of that side button. Again, all I did was quickly press and release volume up, volume down, and then hold down the side button, so known as a force restart, which forces the phone software to completely shut down and then reload the code. So if it's a software-related issue, which most likely is, it's going to go ahead and fix that and resolve your connectivity issues that you may be experiencing. If it doesn't work the very first time, go ahead and try it again. This method will not delete any of your data. Finally, the last step to do is in your settings, go to general and scroll all the way down to transfer reset iPhone. Click on reset and you're going to do what's known as a network reset. Enter your phone's passcode and our network reset is resets your network setting. It will not delete any of your data, but again, an important step to do if you're still having any issues with your connectivity issue around Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or even CarPlay. So that's how you do it. I hope this video was helpful, so please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.